Rue, I know you keep saying you'll close the Great Dam as soon as you get your courage up, but it's been three days. Master Dutong isn't as generous as old Mother Quan used to be. You can't stay here anymore. No, oh, I'm sorry, Yan Wan. Let me, let me buy you a drink. Two bowls of wine and we'll drink a toast to a better time. Just add it to my tab. Ah, I'm good for it. Rue, I don't have time for this. I have other customers to take care of. You have to leave now. No, I'm really pretty sure I have to drink now. I, I need to get my courage up so I can go close the dam. Yeah, just another drink or two. Or three. Or maybe four. Oh, more wine? You will? Thank the Emperor. I've lots of other work to do. Uh, and who are you? More importantly, do you have any wine handy? Or, uh, can you get some? M my My help? Nobody asked for my help. They don't even trust me enough to ride on my barge. But I'm not some useless old drunk. I'll show them. That's why I volunteered to go close the great dam. I just need a drink or two to get my courage up first. You can't be serious. True, my barge is the only way to get there, but the pirates are dangerous. Believe me, you don't want to go up there. Have some wine instead. Mad is what I am. A real loon. Especially when I've had my fill of wine, <laughs> like now. <laughs> Truth is, I'd be happy to take you up to the pirate's camp if I didn't have more pressing business. I promise to close the dam and save the town. Truth is, I wish I'd never told anyone what I was going to do. I was a bit drunk when I said it, but I can't back out now. Everybody thinks I'm just a worthless drunk. But when I close the dam, they'll think I'm a hero. I just need a few drinks to get my courage up before I go. You... you mean that, don't you? Well, I may have a bit too much fondness for the wine. <laughs> but I won't turn my back on someone who needs me. Let's do it. To the pirate lair! I'll make my way down to the little dock where I have my barge and get everything ready. Just meet me at Beggar's Pier in the southeast corner of town when you're ready to go. Good, good. I got lots to do before we go. Check the barge, check our supplies, sample the wine. <laughs> you never want to travel with bad wine. He seems sincere. It might be foolish to place our trust in someone so fond of wine, but I believe he'll be there when we need him. Remember, meet me at Beggar's Pier in the southeast corner of town when you're ready to go. ウォコケティタスンポノ、スココアオカティヤ、ウォノファタセヤ。Ika kahia wo no ka kike ia, wo shathia oka uke ia aya yuye wai. Wo so awi ia ni tu wo uksumpono.
بيار شاثيار كراكا يا نانو اوكسارو ونو فتاسيا وصرفنا صوصيتو نوكو اوتا نابيا ايفاريا اوك كود كوسي ويوا يا ونو هيا ايفاريا اوكا ويكينو Wonoa ea sususatia sonsifonia sonsi ifok. Ni wupa ea kupu sa ea elwath kraka ea nano uksaro iso wak nikano wo napia shathia uko. Wonoa ea sususatia sonsifonia sonsi ifok. Ia, ia, wawaw ia, kukwania sinia, ia, ia. Pia shathia kraka ia, nano uksaro, wo nofatase ia. Noko wo ifawia ok, kun one wipifia. Kut kosi wiwa ya, wo nau hea ifa wiya o ka wiki no. Wasraf no sositu no ko ota na pia ifa ya o ka. Wo kuke tita sumpono, su kokot awo katia, wo nau fatase ya. Ni wo sosawa e a wak, tasi no ni nano yota na pia i fawea ok. Kut kosi wiwa ya, wo no hea i fawea ok a wiki no. To fareia wo, wo sa e a, wo koko ka pikita, wo sa e a sawa fonia ok. Ok ni ko fia apania sasa tatasi no ni nano yok yowea sonsi ya wo yowea. Pier shat uk ni uksa ea sun puno kanhon wo ushashia uksa hea ka. Wo kuke tita sun puno su kokot awo katia wo no fatase ya. Ia, ia, wawaw ia, kukwania sinia, ia, ia. Ika kakia wo no kakike ia, wo shathia oka uki ia, aia yuye wai. Ni wo sosawa ia wak, tasi no ni nano yota napia ifa ia oka. Noko wo ifawea ok, kun one wipifea. Woso awi ilni tu wo ok sumpuno. Utata ya oka yowea fonia sisa ia trusta pafawe ia towea. Leave Zhang alone! Zhang! You can't stay up here forever. This isn't your home. You need to come back with me to the farm. No. Zhang not want to go home. Zhang doesn't want to see Ox. It wasn't your fault. It was an accident. I need you back at the farm. Now let's go, Zhang. No. Leave Zhang alone. Or Zong get angry and smash things. No, please don't, Zong. I'll just go over here and leave you alone. What? Oh, hello there. Don't let Zong bother you. He's really quite harmless. He's just a little upset right now. I am Dong Ping, Zong's employer. Zhang works on my farm, but the other day he accidentally killed one of my oxen, and since then he has refused to come back. 
Some of the patrons here are unnerved by his size. I'm worried that if he doesn't leave with me soon, the owners may take matters into their own hands. If he gets hurt, or worse, I'll be ruined. I can't run the farm without him, but I don't know what else to do. He won't listen to me. You will? I must warn you. Zhang is, well, he is very strong-willed and very strong. I am grateful for your help, but please be careful. Zhang the ox carrier came by his name honestly. I would hate to see him hurt you or anybody else for that matter. Speak softly to him, and you should be okay. Go away. Zhang not want to speak to you. Zhong kill ox. Zhong too strong, too rough with ox. Zhong not want to hurt ox. Zhong only playing. Now Zhong cries for ox. Ox like to play with Zhong. Ox like it when Zhong throw her in the air and catch her. Zhong missed. Zhang dropped ox on her head. Ox is dead. Ox was Zhang's friend. Zhang killed a friend and now Zhang is bad. Master have other ox. Master won't starve. Master better off without Zhang. Yes! Master needs my muscle! How else will he get second ox in bath? You have been nice to Zhang. Zhang like you. Zhang hope you have good day. Thank you so much. I was at my wit's end. You've done me a great service today. Come, Zhang. Let's go home. Zhang coming. Zhang go home now. Do you mind? I'm in no mood for company given my present state of despondency. I am at the stage of my life in which I long for companionship. A wife with intellect and refinement comparable but just slightly inferior to my own. Unfortunately, this town presents scant opportunity for a suitable match. Seamstresses, barmaids, peasants. I may as well marry the harlots selling themselves in the street. Your jibes, canary, prick the armor of my pride. They are blunted barbs forged by the sputtering flames of your lesser intellect. Farewell. Perhaps we shall speak again, if you ever tire of the braying and neighing of these barnyard animals. There you are! <laughs> I confess that when I got down here, I wasn't sure I actually met you. Too much wine in me. I thought you might have been a dream, but here you are! I can take it to the pirates if you still want to go. Might be a dangerous trip. The river has been running fast since the dam was open, but it won't be any worse than the pirates themselves. I'll take you, and if the pirates slate your throat and dump your body in the river, I'll bring you back to town for a nice burial. If they leave your body on land, you're out of luck. Well, it would seem we have little choice. I certainly hope we won't regret asking Rue to help us. I can take you no farther. Be wary in this place. Pirates everywhere. If any pirates come by and try to take my barge, I'll show them how well I use my paddle. Uh, good luck to you in there. And if you need to leave in a hurry, just come running. Nikno irkut fan son with song o fir nawas wasa ir son what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Your brothers inside made me clean up their chicken bones. 
I came as soon as I finished, but in my haste I tripped and fell down the stairs. Wasa ir atanopa uno fakira ukno aku. Wono wir apawafo ir ukir ukir wo ifer. Wasa ir atanopa uno fakira ukno aku. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, don't beat me! I'll get the wine and some food, yes? Trip me, make me crawl like a dog? Yeah, this'll teach them a lesson they won't forget. Come on, stupid rope, come on! Make them sorry they ever... Huh? Wait, don't hurt me, I was just... Uh... Hey, you're no pirate. I remember the face of everyone I used to sail with, and I've never seen you before. My name's Chung. Once I was a pirate on the river, but things were different then. We took pride in our work. We were professionals, not like these lazy, drunken louts. The younger pirates used to look up to me. Now they treat me like dirt. They treat me worse than that slave cleaning the pier. But I'm gonna get even. I'll show them. Those drunks on the pier were supposed to unload the ship, but they're too lazy to finish the job. They left a cannon suspended above the dock, supported by this single rope. One quick pull and that cannon comes crashing down, taking out the dock and anyone on it. But my old bones can't pull hard enough to loosen the knots in the rope. I got nothing against the kid, but dropping the cannon is the easiest way to wipe out everyone on the pier. Tough break for the kid, but much easier for you. You want to take the guards on face to face? I won't stop you. Still think you should use the rope, though. Tough break for the kid cleaning the pier, but much easier for you. But whatever you're gonna do, do it quick. Won't be long until those pirates on the dock start wondering what's taking me so long with their wine. They're... they're dead. I don't have to sweep the dock no more. You saved me. Oh, but there's more pirates inside. Lots more. They'll catch you, and you'll be a slave like the rest of us. Or they'll kill you. Oh, this whole island is crawling with pirates. And they'll kill you. But they won't catch me again. I know where to hide. <laughs> Those pirates didn't seem to give you much trouble at all. Back in my day, a pirate knew how to fight, but these young ones are soft and weak. Gao ruined everything. I tried to tell them, but nobody listened. You'd think the Lotus Assassins would have been a warning. Even a pirate knows better than to get mixed up with them. Gao the Greater, as he calls himself, is the leader of the Guild, a powerful crime syndicate. They never used to bother with us until Gao came to power. Gao himself came and took over our operations. He began building the flyers, and he made slaving our main activity. My own men turned on me. Now they treat me like a dog. A few months later, the Lotus Assassin showed up. Gao must have some kind of deal worked out with them. Whatever they're up to, it must be something big. They showed up shortly after Gao took over, working with him and his guild. Inquisitor Lim seems to be in charge of the Lotus Assassins here. Gao and Lim don't get along. They both like to be in charge. Be careful if you run into Lim. There's something very wrong about him. Back in my day, a pirate ship stayed on the water where it belonged. Now they've got some kind of factory up on the top floor where they build those blasted airships. There's something suspicious about those airships. Sure, the pirates use them, but I think that's just a cover so the Lotus Assassins can come and go as they please. Ask away, and I'll do my best to answer. Any enemy of Gao and the Lotus Assassins is a friend of mine. Pirates are hidden away all through this lair. You shouldn't have too much trouble with them. One of Gao's new captains is around. Watch out for her. She's a tough one. Up near the top, you'll find the airships and Gao himself. 
Maybe Inquisitor Lim, too. He's so cold he could scare a spirit back to life, then scare him dead all over again. Ask away, and I'll do my best to answer. Any enemy of Gao and the Lotus Assassins is a friend of mine. Oh, I was more than just a pirate. I was captain. I robbed and pillaged up and down these waters, but I did things differently. We sailed the waters, not the skies. Then Gao came with his Lotus Assassins and airships, and suddenly my ideas were old-fashioned. My men turned on me, and Gao kept me around as a broken-down servant. I spent my life as a pirate, and look where it got me. Now I'm barely above the slaves. If you see Gao, give him a kick for me, even if he's already dead. <sighs> Slaves! You'll pay for that, maggot! <laughs> Will I? If you scum have any sense at all, you'll stand aside. Let me go drive a blade through your master's throat, and I'll forget I saw you. Oh, certainly. We'll sit back and let you stroll upstairs to kill our leader. Would it help if we drew you a map to his room? Ukir akuno su uku ni siso ir kanto. I wasn't serious, you idiot. We're going to kill this intruder and go back to our drinking. He's just one man. He can't beat all of us. Look around. The odds are not so much in your favor. There's still a chance for you to run. What are you talking about, fool? You haven't noticed my partner over there watching us? He spent his entire lifetime learning how to kill dogs like you. This is your last chance. So, the thief brought a friend. That just means you won't die alone. Attack! How'd I know you'd be deadly in a fight? You'll have to accept my apologies for dragging you into that, but I can't afford to be stopped. Not now. My name is Sky. It's good to see there's someone else in this place who can't stand these slaving dogs. We make quite the pair. Indeed. I find I'm just not saved enough these days. Shame, that. It was obvious you weren't with the pirates. Why not deal with them quickly? There's bigger game above us. Speaking of which, there's a very secure and equally intimidating gate blocking the way. If we work together, though, it'll be simple to crack. It's funny what things you can learn if you just ask at the right time, like when you have a knife to someone's throat. Things like how to reach the upper levels of this place despite that security door. I'm here on a personal matter. A man in this place took something very valuable from me, and I intend to repay him the favor. Yes, I hunt Gao the Greater, though I will not say why. It is a personal matter. I won't be stopped now that I'm this close, and luckily you're here. That'll make it easier to reach the upper levels where he hides himself away. The door at the top of this stair is locked through a fairly ingenious mechanism. Gao's engineer, Kang the Mad, designed it for security. Kang the Mad is a crafty fellow. The door requires two to unlock it. Up high there is a platform with the release lever. The door must be operated while the lever is held forward. There used to be a sentry up there who handled that kind of thing, but uh, he had an accident. I can climb up and pull the lever easily enough. You can open the door when it's unlocked. 
Once the door is open, we can go our separate ways. I have my goals, and I'm sure you have yours. Since we both have much to do, why don't I go and lock the door now? As much as I would value your company, I'm afraid I must decline. I've come here to do something for myself, and I must do it alone. I should go now, but I have to ask in case we never meet again. Where did you study? He must have been a genius. You fight like no one I've seen before. No one I've ever met fights like you do. It's subtle, but your movements bait your foes into seeing an opening that isn't there. It's like a clever trap. I'm sorry, I'm wasting time neither of us can spare. I'll get ready and pull the lever when you're near the door. Good luck with whatever brought you to this place. Nara ir fonir wunu kanawa ofa ir kanawa wunu. Ukir nepo si se sair wosa ir wosa ir nifu ir. Sair yo woya ir ni tata ir ni sasa pika. Akuakuak wos so soni a son of fonia si sair nau akuak. Mistress, I am almost ready to return to the Imperial City. Another day, and I will bring you the amulet fragment. I lose confidence in you with each passing hour, Lim. You should have been back by now. Why haven't you ordered Gao to grant you one of his flyers? Mistress, Gao's ships are only small flyers. They're good for short-range flights and raiding villages, but not for long journeys. That's why I haven't returned yet. Don't try to pin your failings on me, Lim. I've delivered everything I promised. It's only a matter of time until I finish the special dragonfly to transport the artifact to the Imperial City. Until you finish? I designed that dragonfly. I built it, not Gao. That dragonfly is Kang's masterpiece. Silence the mad fool. I've heard rumors of a spy disrupting our operations in the Southland. Maybe this is all too much for you to handle. Perhaps I should come out there personally. That will not be necessary, Mistress. I will deal with the Troublemaker here and return to the Imperial City in one day. You heard, Mistress Jia. I can't waste any more time here. Get that flyer finished. Now! Gia is not my mistress, Lim, and I don't take orders from you either. Remember, if not for my son, you would never have discovered where the glorious strategist was hiding. I am well aware of your son's role in all this, Gal. In fact, I suspect I know more about him than you do. What are you talking about? Have you heard something about young Gao? Tell me! Of course, Gal. I was just waiting for the perfect time to tell you. I received a report from the destruction of two rivers. Your son, Gao the Lesser, is dead. No! This can't be! You lie! I speak the truth. It seems your son was no match for one of the other students. From the condition of his body, it sounds like he died quite painfully. No! Young Gao was everything to me! Damn you and your black heart, Lim. Damn you! I... I want to be alone. I, I must grieve for my son. No one is to disturb me. No one! If I can get to the Imperial City fast enough, I can give the amulet fragment to Death's Hand himself. Then Grand Inquisitor Jia may be in for a surprise. We shall see. Get to work, mad fool. Do whatever it takes to get that ship built. I will take a short-range flyer and check on some of our other operations in the area. If the marvelous dragonfly is not ready to launch when I return, those captive demons will have a new playmate.
interruptions. Who designed that dragonfly? Did he build something to make his sandals explode? the guards well with your punching and kicking. I was going to make more of an explodey thing, but uh, kicking worked well too. I am Kang, the mad. I make things explode, and I make things fly, and I'm very good at both. The things I fly tend to survive. The things I explode, not so much. Do I build flyers? Do I build flyers? Uh, yes. Have you heard differently? Fantastical things, but misused by Gao and his cohorts. I have saved the best for myself. My greatest invention is in the launch room upstairs. Light and fast, she has weapons and capacity no other flyer does. The marvelous dragonfly. Under protest, Gao does not appreciate what I make. He misuses, and worse, he duplicates and diminishes their glory. Well, no more. The dragonfly will not function. Gao wants to give my machine to the Lotus Assassins, but I stopped him. I hid the extraneous dust inductor Well, no one will find it. <laughs> Try to fly without that. But they can make a new inductor. It is extraneous, after all. So, a few days ago... I blew up the inscrutable power source. Now the dragonfly can only make short hops. Yes, yes, of course. What do you think I've been saying? You need to listen more carefully. If you stage a combat-related accident for Gao, like falling down a flight of punches, I'll replace the inductor on the dragonfly and we can fly away. What do you say? You are sure to profit from this partnership. In fact, I've never accidentally exploded anyone traveling with me, so that alone is a benefit of my presence. Anyway, you go ahead, and once all the kicking is done, I'll come along and we'll see what's what. Uh, for now, let me think. Uh, we'll need explosives. They'll explode. Questions are good. It means the wheels are turning. But make it quick. I never let asking get in the way of doing. Is she one of the slaves? The slave breaker led a girl through this morning. I did not hear her name, but no one else has been brought by. I will restate and reiterate as necessary, but I would like to get back to my tools. Oh, that's a long story from what I remember. Some experiments went wrong in my old workshop. The explosions. A few estates burned down. Uh, uh, some other things happened. Gao bribed some officials just as I was about to be quartered by five horses. Or would that be quinted? Well, regardless, he brought me here to work for him. Sure, he rescued me, but only to acquire my inventions and misuse them. You don't send dozens of flyers against pitiful villages. There's no elegance to a swarm. Just like you don't use explosives inspired by the great dragon to carve a treasure chamber. A menial use of power without even a decent crater to show for it. No, no, no. But if I offer advice, you should at least consider it. Gao ignores guidance. Listen to me, and I'll keep the marvelous dragonfly the best flyer in the air. Just next to the launch room. I don't know how you get in or out, because it is, after all, behind a massive immobile door. I can think of one way to open it, but I don't have a lever long enough, so you'll have to use your head. Uh, well, not literally. I will restate and reiterate as necessary, but I would like to get back to my tools. Master Lee? No, I don't think so. Well, I am not so good with names, or, or faces. 
D dates are bad, too, but I remember my own handiwork. Several older flyers stopped here briefly. They were full of Lotus assassins, and one big assassin in black armor who seemed to be in charge. Very big, unpleasant look on his mask. They had a prisoner with them, or so I heard, and they all seemed nervous about it. The flyers left for the Imperial City soon after. Does that help? I will restate and reiterate as necessary, but I would like to get back to my tools. Oh, I would like to put something explodey in his food, just to see if it would make him blink, because that one has dead eyes, like he's missing something. Sometimes he is here, sometimes he is not. I don't know right now which is true, but I know he is dangerous, very dangerous. Yes, goodbye. Go and leave me to think. Please, don't burn me. I'll do anything you want. I'm sure you will, child. But deep inside, you think you're not a slave. Only true pain will wash away these thoughts. You can have your slaves when they're broken, not a moment before. Help me, please! You wandered into the wrong room, slave. Hey, I know you. Mother and I met you when we were trying to get out of Tien's Landing. I don't want to be a slave. I just want to get out of this place. Utatsaya Okayoya Fonia Sisa Ia Trusta Pafawe Ia Towia. I'm glad you're safe, Mother. Did you see Gao when he went by? There was fire in his eyes. There's always fire in his eyes. Dark magic burns inside him. Yeah, but this time it was worse. Better stay out of his way for the next little while. Something really set him off. Wait a minute. You there! Who are you? You can't be up here. You dare disturb me in my grief? I said no interruptions. You will pay for it. Wait. You are not one of my servants. I know you! You are one of Master Lee's students. You, you were the one who killed my son, Gao. Your words mean nothing. You are a murderer, a killer! Gao was everything to me, and now he's gone. Damn you in that school! My Gao was never good enough for Master Lee. You were always his prize pupil. Now my son is... Gao may be gone, but I will avenge him. I know the styles your broken old master taught you, and I know how to beat them. I promise your death will be both slow and painful. Dead already. Damn it all. I wanted nothing more than to watch this man die.
It matters because he deserved to die by my hands. No, that's not right. I should be thanking you. Besides, after I left you, I stumbled across something just as important. Let me explain why I'm here. That should clarify things. You saw with your own eyes that these pirates were collecting slaves, right? True enough. I have a particular hatred for slavers. Gao's slaving operation found its way to my home several years ago. I was away at the time, but my daughter was there. Those black-hearted bastards took my daughter, Pin Mei. They killed her for resisting them. She was my only child. I lost her mother when Pin Mei was born, but my daughter was something precious in return. The slavers offered no such consolation. It has been three years since I lost my daughter, and I have spent that time tracking down the men who took her. My search led me here, to the lair of Gao the Greater. His men took my daughter, and I meant to even the score. On my way up here, I stumbled across records that show that this goes beyond Gao. The Lotus Assassins are his primary buyers. Is that so? There can be no doubt, then. This goes beyond Gao the Greater. I have my vengeance, but how many others have suffered as I have because of the Lotus Assassins? Do you mean to go further with this? I would join you. Only a fool would oppose the Lotus Assassins, but two fools working together stand a better chance than one. It'll be an honor to join you. Oh, and I stumbled across a little something on my way up here. It's probably something you need. Hey! That's the dust inductor I was hiding. The dragonfly can't fly without it. It was under the floorboards in my workshop last I looked. Well, next time I hide something, I'm packing explosives around it. Yes, explosives shaped like silver bananas. Stops thieves, monkeys, and monkey thieves in one fell swoop. Yes. In my mind, you stand the best chance of facing down Gao's masters. We also have a far greater chance of succeeding together rather than apart. I don't know if I trust this man, but we can't afford to turn away potential allies, not with what lies ahead. Your companion's ability to judge character is matched only by her beauty. I may not be the most constant of men, but I am true. I assure you, I will be as devoted and capable as any of your other companions. Ha! If I could harness all that hot air, I could make a furnace to power the whole of the Imperial City. Well, if you're done with all the talking, I have to go make the dragonfly ready for some flying. and such it really gets the blood flowing and explosions lots of blood flowing from those too I replace the dust inductor the marvelous dragonfly will cross the sky at your whim for a short way the heavens welcome my machines but not without considerable cajoling if you want to fly more than a short distance I will need an inscrutable power source I don't know. There was one here for the dragonfly, until I blew it up. That was the only way to keep Inquisitor Lim from taking my dragonfly to the Imperial City. I know the assassins have another one. They were using it for blasting and excavation. Lim once said something about ruins. If you're looking for the inscrutable power source, I'd find some ruins that also have assassins in them. Now we should leave here. We can make it as far as that nearby town, Tien's Landing. I know the winds between here and there. Uh, uh, mostly. I mostly know the winds. It would be fine. Don't worry about that. When the marvelous dragonfly takes off, the earth shakes and the sky trembles. You can't miss it. 
Your friend will see us take off, and he'll head back to town on his own. Ha-ha! Everybody on board! The marvelous dragonfly is about to take flight! <laughs>